arms were outstretched here to save you. Come unto me, come unto me, Welcome to the National Shrine of Blessed Francis Xavier Silos. Let his healing spirit draw you closer to our Lord's unending love. No one was ever lost because his sin was too great, only because his trust in God was too small. The sixth child of devout Catholics, Francis Silos might never have left Germany, but the Blessed Mother called him to become a missionary, like his namesake, St. Francis Xavier. So painful was it to leave his close-knit family, only his father knew his intentions. When Silos said goodbye, his father pointed at the sky, meaning they would not see each other again until they were both in heaven. Silos traveled to the young United States to serve the poor and most abandoned as immigrants crowded the cities and flooded the frontier. Bedbugs, poverty, neglect, no instruction for the children, nowhere a cross or a church of pilgrimage, all provide much work for a soldier of Christ who wants to share God's word Professed as a member of the Redemptorist Congregation, Father Silo served as pastor of parishes and director of seminarians before becoming superior of traveling parish missions. Preaching in three languages, crisscrossing mountains and forests and prairies, his lively, hope-filled sermons drew thousands. When we truly come to know Jesus, as victor over hell and death, then every song is transfigured. People began to notice how Father Silos possessed a special gift for personifying God's loving kindness. When we know Jesus, then every tear is dried and the place of rest has been found. But in those difficult days, the very act of spreading our Lord's compassion took courage as widespread bigotry fanned the flames of anti-Catholic prejudice. Go back when you can. You're not gonna take our jobs. Filthy hope lover. Father Silos witnessed the devastation of the Civil War firsthand. To ravage troops of both North and South, their bodies wounded, their souls scarred, he offered consolation through the sacraments. At war's end, Father Silos was sent here to St. Mary's Assumption Church. The faithful of New Orleans were quick to embrace his selfless dedication and joyful presence. Bless you, Father. Wonderful sermon. Father, thank you for those words. Thank you, Father. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. His long hours in the confessional offered Christ's redemption to those overly burdened. A contemporary of Father Silo said, one has only to look at him to know he is a saint. I'm here to serve you in whatever way I can. I'm scared. I'd like to pray over you. During a yellow fever epidemic, while ministering to the sick but ignoring the danger to himself, no he caught patris, the dreaded disease. Fili, it's spiritu sancti. Amen. On October 4th, 1867, at age 48, he joined the saints Father, in heaven. Father, 
there had always been more of heaven than earth about this devoted servant of God. Even after his death, he continues to intercede on our behalf. At masses in his honor, in visits to his shrine, and through prayers seeking his intercession, he touches the lives of multitudes who ask his help to obtain God's mercy. I prayed to Father Silos faithfully, and days later, I was pain-free. I want to shout from the rooftops to everyone. He had surgery and is back to playing baseball. We thought his days on earth were limited. One amazing cure in particular advanced Father Silos' journey towards canonization. I was given two weeks to live, and I was diagnosed with cancer. Her liver was 90% replaced with tumors, multiple tumors. They sent me home, but the first place I stopped was at Father Silos' um, tomb in St. Mary's Church to ask for um, a miracle and to raise my four children. Even though some of the some of those drugs she received have been shown to be helpful in these type situations. There's never been a cure. Doctor said, he says, this is shrinking too fast. He said, for, for this to be from the drug only. After careful deliberation by the Vatican, Angela Boudreaux's healing was accepted as the miracle needed for the beatification of Francis Xavier Silos. This humble, redemptorist priest, who wanted only to be a simple servant of God, inspires people worldwide to trust in the Lord's healing power through faith and devotion. Divine Physician, you infused Blessed Francis Xavier Silos with the gift of your healing by the help of his prayers. Sustain in us the grace to know your will and the strength to overcome our afflictions. For love of you, make us whole. May we learn from the example of Father Silos and gain comfort from his patient endurance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hail Mary, full of grace. Dios Padre, gracias por todo esto. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Amen. Amen. Amen.